Hi there, viewers. Marriage might seem like a fairy tale, but soon that happily ever after starts to fade. With divorce rates skyrocketing, many are struggling to have happy families. There are a bunch of reasons that put your marriage on the brink of collapse. You just need to spot them in time to save yourself from emotional exhaustion. In today's video, let's discuss 11 science-backed signs that show your marriage won't last long. Is not fighting a good sign? What about how your partner was brought up? We're talking all that and more. Number one, contempt. A false feeling of superiority can lead to divorce. Sometimes frustration can be projected onto someone making them feel worthless or beneath you. But if someone starts disregarding you constantly, then they don't want the best for you. There is always a way to solve problems peacefully. But if your partner is being disrespectful, whether in your house or when you're in public, it's time to give your relationship some serious thought. Number two, only one person exists in the relationship. Many times people change for the good when in a healthy relationship. It's a two-way process to make you an invincible team. There are often sacrifices, for example, giving up a bad habit like drinking or smoking. But if it's always about one person at the expense of the other's happiness, the natural balance is being lost. Being too full of oneself can be dangerous. This can make you feel unheard and neglected. You will always be on the giving end, which can make you feel emotionally empty. This could be one clear sign that a marriage is ending. Number three, their upbringing. Parents play a vital role in shaping a child's personality. We want to do everything adults do in childhood. Kids lack the understanding of what's right and wrong. If they grow up seeing a parent in and out of different relationships, that idea makes a home in their memory. They might think that's how normal relationships work. Science has proved that grown-up kids with mothers who often had a string of failed relationships faced a higher chance of separation. It really does seem like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Number four, the blame game never stops. Early on in a relationship, your differences can be exciting. But down the line, if your partner starts to judge you because of those differences you once loved, it could be a dead end. A lot of name calling can also get on your nerves. Arguing and bickering can become extreme forms of the blame game. It's so easy to blame somebody else for your shortcomings. If your partner won't own up to their mistakes, that can be exhausting and bring the relationship to an end. But does that mean you should avoid all fighting? Well, that brings us to our next point. Number five, not fighting. We just told you that constant fighting can end a relationship. You might now be wondering if you avoid fighting and ignore conflicts that can lengthen your relationship. That's not quite right. Ignoring all conflicts can be a major contributor to a broken marriage. Does your partner walk out whenever you start having a heated discussion? Getting a cold response or no response can just be frustrating, but your partner might choose this way to keep the peace. In the process, they might drift away from you. The more they ignore you, the more issues can pile up and be difficult to solve. You need to strike a balance between not caring about every fight and fighting too much about the little things. Number six, flirting outside your relationship. Some people are charming and have naturally flirtatious personalities. It's important to draw boundaries after marriage. If you find your partner going over and above the socially accepted protocols, they might not be into you anymore. They might respect your concern if you happen to confront them. If they brush off your concern as nothing, it'll be a sign of pretentious behavior. Also, the workplace environment matters. A study from Denmark found a link between colleagues of the opposite sex and 15% higher divorce rates. That might sound weird, but it's backed with science. Number seven, cutting ties with friends and family. Do you have a friend group that makes you forget all your worries? Or do you make it a ritual to hang out with your guys every game night? If yes, consider yourself lucky. Those friendships need to be nurtured and cared for. So, your partner has been trying to keep you away from your loved ones? It could mean they're trying to control you with toxic behavior. Your marriage could go in a downward spiral pretty quick. Studies reveal that women's friendships last longer than male friendships. They develop more closeness with their friends and maintain it for a long time. They also put in lots of effort to do joint activities to maintain it. But men are pretty adaptable and change their circle quickly. A study showed that 46% of couples who had divorced by the 16th year of marriage often had a husband complaining about the wife's friend circle right from the first year of marriage. So if you've been experiencing these red flags, you need to get yourself out of that situation. Number eight, Childhood photographs. When having doubts about your marriage, have a look at your spouse's yearbook photos. Research rated the intensity of yearbook smiles in college students from one to 10. People who were a perfect 10 were found to have no divorce later in life, whereas those in the lower rankings were found to have a five times higher chance of getting divorced. 
The scoring was based on two muscles, one that created wrinkles around the eyes while smiling and the other that pulled the lips apart while smiling wide. This striking correlation even surprised the researchers. Smiling in general represents a person's positive attitude towards life, and they attract other happy souls towards them. This could mean the marriage of two happy souls is long-lasting. Number 9. Bad Sleeping Arrangements Imagine your spouse kicking you out of bed or snoring at 3 a.m. while you struggle to get some quality sleep. Sound familiar? Having to deal with this scenario for days, months, or years can make one sleep deprived. Sleeping on a narrow bed can put you in a grumpy mood and rob you from quality family time the next day. Studies have shown that 30 to 40% of couples who had been together for many years slept in separate beds or separate rooms. If your partner's sleeping habits are getting to you, it's never too late to seek medical help. Failing to do that will lead to the collapse of your marriage. Number 10. An Extravagant Start did your relationship start with crazy movie-like gestures? If yes, be prepared for some bad news. Maintaining that relationship enthusiasm throughout your life can be a big emotional burden. Life gets in the way with responsibilities. This means there won't be enough time to focus on the relationship with such magnitude. This may have the other partner wondering where the magic went. Studies indicate that newlyweds who were just bubbling with emotion at the start of the marriage get divorced seven times more than the ones who had a slow start. They are also left with one-third the initial affection they had for their spouse initially. Inability to make your partner feel complete can obviously wreck a marriage. Number 11. Economic Conditions Marriage is like a garden that needs constant nurturing with emotional and physical aspects. The struggle to make ends meet can also put a strain on personal relationships. It can have a long-lasting effect on a child's development as well. A financially stable family can be a reason for a long-lasting relationship. There's more stability in financially stable relationships. Regardless of family type and economic status, it's difficult to stay in a relationship when both parties are not making an active effort to make things work financially. Number 12. Nonverbal Cues Marriage is understanding unspoken words. Most times, it comes from the tone of voice while communicating. If your partner is being too sarcastic, demeaning, or contemptuous, then it's only natural for you to feel hurt all the time. Tone of voice, body language, and eye contact are some of the elements that can make or break the connection. A study recorded conversations of a few hundred couples and kept analyzing their marital status for five years. It showed that, beyond doubt, about 79% of success in the marriage was because of the spouse's tone. Different types of body touch can also reveal the ultimate destination of your relationship. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more relationship-related videos, shall we? Watch these seven types of touch are powerful in marriages. Or click on body language can reveal a lot about your relationship. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn more about how to bring life back to your relationship. Do you know any other reasons for a failing marriage? Let us know in the comments below.